Hey guys, this is Scott's Fat Sea Channel, and today I'm going to be showing you my computing setup. Um, I did make a video about my computer a while ago, just after Christmas, um, when I made the video. However, though, when I did make it, yeah, uh, my mouse was broken and I didn't have a uh, new one by that time. So I thought I'll quickly make a new uh, video about my gaming setup, uh, or my computer setup, sorry, uh, with my new mouse, as where I couldn't show it off in the video. So, here, I've got a. Uh, Samsung, uh, sorry the light is pretty crap, I haven't got my light, bedroom light turned on, uh, Samsung, and it's a 34 inch screen I think, if I remember correctly, um, so there it is, right here, just going to show you how thin it is, do, do, do. quite thin, um, it's got HDMI and the blue cable, I can never remember the name of it, oh, can't remember uh, compatibility. Um, I've got a little swivy table, little little turning table. It's on and it just helps rotate the screen. Um, don't know what that's called. Don't know how much it is. Blah blah blah. Um, I've got my speakers. What are over here? These are very basic Logitech uh, speakers. Um, they're mainly used in schools. That's why I brought them because I know that. Um, they are reliable, they are long lasting, and I didn't want anything what was like over the top or anything like that. I just wanted some cheap speakers what would basically create, give me some high volume music, yeah, music I play out loud because I never had speakers. Um, I used to have speakers what I built into my old monitor, however, now I got rid of my old monitor, this new one hasn't got speakers built in. So I need to buy some speakers, and obviously I, did, I wanted some reliable, long-lasting ones, what are, are cheap, so I brought these, um, Logitech ones, what are about 30 quid. Um, obviously you get a little, um, little, little control pad, or little control bit, you can turn the volume up and down, on or off, you can plug your headphones into it, so you need to plug it into your uh, computer, so that's pretty little good, so you can control it all from over there. Um, now move on to my mouse, I've got the Microsoft Arc mouse turned off, and obviously you snap it and turn it on, and then it's turned on. And obviously it's got a blue laser light, it's got uh, a sense roll pad, so you can scroll using a sensor, and you can double tap it as well, and it does make this little noise, um, and vibrates. Like so. Has a green light on the front to show you when it's turned on. Like so. Turn it off and it shows nothing. It's got the two traditional mouse clicks. Um, it's very strong and supportive. Um, it can hold your whole hand's weight. Hasn't got any thumb support, but still it's very small and compact. Wireless. So it's easy to, uh, if I want to use this on my laptop, I can just pull out like the little receiver on the back of my modem, and I can plug it into the laptop. Here I have my wireless Microsoft Arc keyboard. Uh, I decided to get the matching pair. Um, I do regret getting this keyboard now, because uh, the whole reason it's small, compact, it's Arc. See, it's got a Arc shape. It's got batteries powered. They're both battery powered. Both AAA battery powered. Both take double two double. To, they both take two AAA batteries. The one problem I don't like this keyboard is the up, down, and left key are one keypad. So what bugs me the most is it's one keypad, so it's quite difficult to play games if it requires these requires the up, down, left, and right keys. Um, another disadvantage is that if you want to use um, F7 to F12. Yeah, you have to press uh, this key called FN. When you have to press from F1 to F6 to select the other upper F keys due to the keyboard's compact. So it hasn't got all the F keys on it. Um, the one thing I do like about it though is obviously it has a mute uh, volume up and down keys, what my old keyboard didn't have. Um, but it's very, um, the, it's in an arc shape, so it's sort of not flat, it's at an arc. So it's very comfortable to use. The um, only disadvantage is the um, 
the F keys, we have to use FN, and the um, arrow keys. They're the one problem I have with the keyboard. So that's my speakers, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Now, I'm going to show you my headset, what I use, right here. This headset is a Microsoft um, headset. Uh, it's a Skype chat, or designed for Skype. So it's you can use videos, it's USB ended, I'll show you that in a second. It's a Microsoft, um, very high quality. Um, I have got a bit of uh, dust um, on the end of the uh, microphone where I was eating a sweet was really powdery. Um, should have cleaned that off before the video. And now you know what sweet, sort of sweets I like eating. Um, so I'll put that there. If I quickly grab, it's a USB ended. It is designed for Skype, so it is very compatible. It's, it's very compatible with Skype. It's integrated for Skype. You can use it for videos. Um, and that's why I've gotten so I used to use, I make a lot of videos with Skype, so I wanted uh, I wanted a headset what works with Skype very compatible um, and it's very easy to use. And I obviously went for the USB end the traditional one because my old headset used to plug into the mic and the headphone port. What basically meant yeah was two extra wires going into my computer and it's made it hard and my life difficult. Obviously halfway down the wire it has a little control pad where it has a mute button, a volume up and down button, and a Skype um, enter or basically accept call button and end call button. So this is very useful if you, sorry, got the wrong way around. Very useful. Um, that little light at the top is on when it's muted. So you can mute your mic from here. You can do volume up and down controls as well as. Um, obviously, I don't use these controls, and neither do I use the controls on my keyboard. I have my volume maximum on my PC. I have the volume max on here, and then I control the volume just by using this little slider up here. Unless I'm using headphones, then I will alter it from here, because obviously that doesn't make any difference. Um, so that's basically my headphones I use for making YouTube videos and listening to stuff when I don't want to play it out loud. Let's just cut that away. Um, one thing I did forget is my internet. Obviously my, key, my computer is upstairs, so I need a wireless internet. I used to be Ethernet, but now I'm not. I have a TP link right here. This is the uh, 300 megabits or megabytes per second. I'm not sure which one it stands for. Um, it's going to let it focus. It's the TL. This is what I've got. It's a TP link. Um, and this is like a little stand. This little bit here can be removed from it. It's like a little pen drive almost. I remove it, see? And you can plug that straight into your computer. Or if your computer is in a area that's harder to access or where the TP link is going to be plugged in it hasn't got as good as an internet signal, you get this little tray you can use. Uh, a cool thing about, I like about this tray is you can plug anything USB into it. So if I didn't want to be connected to the internet, and I really wanted to, I could actually plug a different type of USB into there, it could be a charger, it could be um, any other, like, it can be a USB device as well, like a pen drive, what's well, very useful, and I can just plug this into the front of my modem, or box, or tower, or computer, whatever you want to call it, and it obviously has a flashing green light to indicate that it is basically connected to the internet, what's well, very useful. Um, okay. So there's that. And uh, then over here is my computer. It is a Packard Bell Windows Vista, but I installed Windows 7 onto it. I've also installed a second hard drive. Um, it's got a spare disk s slot. Um, there's stuff. I think this is like a giant hole you can see inside my actual. You can see my second hard drive. Right? Is that my second hard drive? I can't tell. No, that's just a metal plate. In there, that's where I can put a second um, disk drive if I wanted. And then here's my DVD dry, uh, DVD right here. Um, the button's right here on the side I can use to open it up. Um, the bottom side is obviously a blank when I can put any sort of disk in there. Scro slide this down. I've got USB slots, uh, mic, and mic and headphone slots. I've got uh, disk drives for like little sticks like for your camera, so I've got 
compact flash discs and MS Pros. Right here beneath it, um, it's quite hard to see, but here there's a gap what would be spare for extra drives like little slits for the uh, like memory cards. However, um, it's quite hard to see, but right there is my second hard drive because I had the plastic cover removed so I could put a second hard drive into my computer. Um, so my I now have a second hard drive in my PC while I have my operating system on and programs. My primary hard drive is just at the back of here and that's my secondary hard drive while I store all my files on due to um, I wanted to install Windows 7 but I didn't have a hard drive big enough to back up my other work so I swapped the hard drives over. So this is uh, my computer but it's custom modified because it has two hard drives. Um, so there's that. And then obviously I have my printer with the HP um, just there. Okay guys, so that's my computer setup. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching the Scott's Pat channel and see ya.